What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to another Lego Star Wars review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Defense of Hoth. That's set 40557. It has 64 pieces, three minifigures, came out in 2022, and it retails for 15 USD. These are kind of a hot topic. A lot of people have different opinions about both this one and the clone, basically miniature battle pack. But as always, we're gonna take a look at this set's positives and negatives and see where it stands. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, we'll begin by taking a look at the box, if you wanna call it a box. I love what they're doing with these smaller sets, putting them in these plastic see-through minifigures. Just think it's really cool. It reminds me of the 1990s boxes. You could open up that flap and see what's inside. This is obviously based off of Hoth. The AT-ATs in the background, love that. And then moving to the back, it just shows off the uh, minifigures along with the weapons that are included. Again, I hope LEGO continues to do this. I think it makes it a little bit cheaper for them too, which makes it cheaper for us. Let's now take a look at the set itself. And here we have all the smaller builds that are included in this little set. Give you guys a 360 view of them. The amount of blasters in this is ridiculous. If you want to take those legs apart, you have six extra blasters, which is great. The main turret is definitely undersized if you watch The Empire Strikes Back, but it works. You can tell what it is. You can rotate it as well. And just showing off that computer piece. Nice looking print. That print is on these basically power packs that power those uh, smaller turrets. And give you guys a closer look of that as well. These builds are not the best I've ever seen, but they're adequate for uh, what you'd want. You could very easily place these in a mock or something. Recreate the Battle of Hoth, maybe buy 10 of these, if you can manage to do so, since they're constantly out of stock on lego.com. Let's now take a look at the minifigures. Here we have the three rebel soldiers that are included. Give you guys a 360 view of them. Decent looking soldiers. They all have back torso printing and some of them even have back face printing. Which I thought was nice. You don't really need that for the standard soldier, but they did that. Their torso printing is also quite detailed, like the fact that he has different printing than the two of them. It doesn't have any leg printing though, which is unfortunate, but this one harkens back more so to the old Hoth Rebel Soldier, whereas these ones are a little bit of a newer variant. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Personally, I really like the idea of these miniature battle packs. I think that they're very cheap, or at least by Lego standards, cheap. I mean, we're not paying like 20 bucks for a battle pack. You're only paying 15, you're still getting three minifigures. You're also getting a number of weapons, like the amount of blasters included in this set is ridiculous. And the fact that there's no officers or anything like that, you're not really gonna get that with a rebel battle pack, but as long as they keep officers out of it, I'm all for it. These are just old soldiers with the clone battle pack, they were all clones. I think it's a great idea and I hope that LEGO continues to make these just because it's a really cheap way of building your army. But let me know what your personal thoughts are on this one, if you like it, if you don't, any areas you think they could maybe improve on these miniature battle packs. But that's all I got for you today, but if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future LEGO Stars reviews, comparisons. We do one of them every single Tuesday, but that's all I got for you again. But as always guys, thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll catch you on the next one.